In this video, I'm going to be showing you this really awesome sliding video transition right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you have a brand new composition created. We're first going to begin by dragging in two video clips. So I've got one clip down here and I've got another clip in here. So from here, you want to find a point where you want the transition to occur. So I'm just going to scrub through our footage. I want the transition to occur just as I land here. And then I'm going to hold Command Shift D on the keyboard to make a cut. We'll delete the second part of that footage. And then we'll do the same thing on the footage underneath. So we'll go Command Shift D and we'll delete the first part of that video. So we should now have two halves of two different videos. So we've got the first half of this video here, and then we've got the second half of this video here. So from here, we need to go ahead and create an adjustment layer. So we'll double click down here, go new adjustment layer. And as you will see, that's created adjustment layer that's going to sit on top of absolutely everything. So from here, we'll go into effects and preset and we'll search for motion tile. Motion tile should be under stylize. And once you've found that, you want to drag that onto your adjustment layer. We'll go to the point where those two clips meet and then we'll take it back maybe half a second and we'll create a brand new keyframe on tile center by pressing the stopwatch icon. Now we'll move a second to the right. So we're sitting on top of the second video clip and we'll pull this position of the tile center all the way to the right. So as you can see, I'm going to pull this all the way up. I'm going to set this to 9,000 and then you want to line this edge of the frame up to the edge of the frame just here. So I'm just going to move this carefully over to the left and when it perfectly meets the edge of the frame, we just want to leave it there. So if we play this back, you can see flip into the shot and then it transitions over into the next clip. But at the moment that looks really ugly. And there's a few different things that we can do to make this look a lot better. So the first thing we're going to do is go into adjustment layer, go effects, motion tile, and we can find our two keyframes down here. Now we're going to select both of those keyframes. We'll hover over one of the keyframes. We'll right click, select keyframe assistance and go up to easy ease. So as we're going into the animation, it slowly accelerates and then slowly eases back into that second frame. So rather than harshly moving on the first keyframe and stopping at the next keyframe, it's going to feel a bit more natural by easing in and easing out, just as the title implies. Now, next up, we need motion blur. Motion blur is going to really help to hide the cut and it's really going to help to add that special source to the effect. So we're gonna select everything in the composition. We'll select the motion blur button. Make sure this motion blur button is blue. If it's gray, make sure to press it to turn it blue. And then when we play this back, you'll notice this looks a million times better. Motion blur is more strenuous on your computer though. So you might have to wait a second for your computer to render this out. But there you go. That's already looking a million times better. Now, I kind of want this movement to feel extremely fast and extremely aggressive to the point that the video kind of tilts over to the side. So as the video rushes off to one side, the top of the video is going to trail behind to kind of act as a rolling shutter. So in order to do this, we first need to go into motion tile and we need to change the output width to 300. Now we'll go into effects and presets and we'll search for transform. Transform should be under distort. And once you've found that, you want to drop that onto the adjustment layer. So we'll drop that onto the adjustment layer and we'll scroll through to the very middle of the video. So the point where the first video ends and the point where the second video starts. Whilst we're here, we'll pull the skew down to, let's go for negative 20. We'll create a brand new keyframe on skew. We'll go to the very first keyframe that we made on the motion tile and we'll pull the skew back to zero. Then we'll go to the last keyframe that we made on motion tile. And again, we'll set the skew to zero. So at the moment we've got this happening, which looks really bizarre. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to adjust the skew axis. 
So at the moment, the skew axis is set to zero. And because it's set to zero, this is happening. We're getting this black video appearing in the top left and the bottom right corners of the video, which doesn't look great. So we'll go to the very middle keyframe on the skew. That's around here. We'll go to the skew axis and we'll pull this down to a point where the video straightens up and perfectly sits in the video. And once you've found that point, you just want to scrub through your video, making sure that looks correct. Make sure you can't see any black video appearing at any point outside where it's not supposed to. And once you're happy with the look of that, we'll just play that back. And there you go. That is the sliding video transition now complete. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next video. See you there.